make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on, click that check mark, and hit save. I'm back. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I just came back from grabbing some groceries at my favorite place ever. Not Walmart, Costco. Uh, I love going to Costco to pick up some stuff for the kids, especially now that they are back in school. Well, back to, I guess, regular scheduled program because they didn't obviously go to school last year, but they were in preschool. So now I'm like preparing their lunches and it's just a whole task in itself. So I try to go to Costco at least once a week to grab some of the groceries. Just got back home now. It is a very gloomy day outside, but Trev and I are going to be working on a project outdoors. If you guys remember a couple years ago, I shared with you that we installed some cameras around our house with Lorex technology. So we love, love, love the system. The only thing is, Two of the cameras are longer camera, and um, for the space that we're looking to pick up, we needed to switch those out. And so I'm partnering with them again, and we are going to be installing some of their newest cameras. This, I believe, just recently launched. So this is the Lorex 4K HD IP dome security camera with smart motion detection and listen in audio. This is the model number here. And we also have a new end NVR. I believe I'm saying that correctly. Excuse the mess, guys. So this is the NVR here. So we're going to be switching everything out. I'm not going to do so much of like a installation video for you guys, but I do want to talk about the importance and for us especially why it's important to have the security system. One, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this from this angle, but let me try. So here from our backyard, we are very, very, very close to the water so I don't know if you can see here now because of this pergola system from our neighbors but the water is literally across from the forest there is a lot of forestry over there which means there's a lot of animals we've caught so many animals on our camera system in the past little while I've seen uh, agoutis, I've seen deers, um, I've seen and also heard, uh, what are they called? Uh, do, 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 do. Guys, it slipped my mind. Not the fox, what are they called? Coyotes, that's it, coyotes. So we hear them, we also see them on the camera as well. So for us, having incredible security around our home is, in, is like crucial, especially with wildlife so close to us. So Trev is just starting to set it up now, praying that it doesn't rain, but it's also getting a little bit colder outside, so we're hoping to get it done this weekend. So let me show you what he's doing. He's removing some of our old cameras and then replacing them with the new nocturnal cameras that we received from Lorax. Hey, Trev. Afternoon, guys. Yeah, so he is busy. I mean, it's nice outside, it's just a little bit gloomy. So we had a camera here that he pulled down. It was like located here. He's going to be replacing it, another one. We had a dome one on this side. He's gonna be replacing it too. And again, I'm not gonna do like a full on um, detailed review for you guys, but I do wanna show you some of the awesome features. And also I'm really excited to see how this nocturnal camera compares to the one that we had presently, the one that we have presently installed around the house. So stay tuned. I'm going to be sharing that with you guys. Oh, here's the girls. Hi. Tomorrow we're going to school. Hello. Tomorrow is school. And how is school going for you guys? Good. Do you love your teacher? Yes. Miss McMahon. My name is Mick McMahon. Mrs. McMahon. Mrs. McMahon. You guys are too cute. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So Trevi switched this camera out and I'm looking at it from my phone. He's just gonna pull off the plastic. <laughs> Guys, this is like crystal clear. Maybe you're not seeing it from my phone, but it is out of this world. I'm excited to see it in the nighttime. Then we're just gonna reposition it because he's able to swivel it to exactly where we want it. 
So he's swiveling it right now. And then we are going to lock it in place and then check them all out once it's a little darker in the nighttime. Hey guys, so it's been a few weeks since we installed the new dome cameras that are nocturnal, that pick up everything in the dark. Guys, it is 8.40 p.m. We're at the middle of November, so you guys know that outside is incredibly dark. Daylight savings was just last week, so our times went back. And this right now at 8 40 at night is what we're seeing on our camera now in comparison to outdoors I'm just going to show you what it looks like you guys aren't going to believe this like when I tell you like can you see anything other than my reflection you can't see a thing because it is so incredibly dark out there but not over here we can see it all on these cameras which is awesome so the area in which we have absolutely no light in the backyard is camera number four and i'm gonna get trev to go to it now also on this view we're able to see all of our cameras but this number four we have zero light in this area so all that we're seeing right now is because of the cameras in our backyard infrared. the infrared thank you Trev. so i mean i'm incredibly happy and guys as i was mentioning to you we have a lot of wildlife going on in the area because we're so close to the lake and the other day we picked up something on the camera and I'm going to show you because I actually recorded it on my phone. So let me just um, log in real quickly to my phone. But it's crazy because we were talking to our neighbors and we were saying how we've been seeing um, an, opossum. an opossum in the area. And that same night as we were looking on the cameras, an opossum walks right by on the right hand side and that's to show you what type of wildlife we have in this area so a couple of other features is the zoom capability on this is amazing guys very very clear you can see so much if we zoom in you can see the name brand of our grill um anything else that you want to mention trev uh, you could show right now i'm showing them strictly uh what you call it night vision nocturnal view this is the nocturnal the view the, but you can also the, the, the lights on. so this is what the lights on so our lights are on at the front of our house right now and, and it is so so clear 8 45 it looks like it's daytime hours this is our front door incredibly clear as well and so i'm i'm just really really glad that we have this it's a great sense of security especially in the area that we live in uh, i highly highly recommend these cameras we've had these cameras for a couple of years now and then now just upgrading to their newest nocturnal ones we can definitely see the difference and again it's very important for us in the area that we live in so these are just a couple of our camera views Another thing too is the other day we had a question, so we called support. Let me just flip the camera around real quick so I can talk to you guys. We called support and um, Trev was able to jump on the call with them. They were very, very helpful. He had a question about uh, the sensitivity levels that you can put on it because we wanna ensure that we're getting notifications for like humans walking by. We don't want notifications for like bugs or yeah, mainly bugs because a lot of the time like the cameras will go off with bugs or if it's raining or hailing or snowing we get notifications so they're very helpful in teaching us exactly what levels to put it on um, very thorough too so customer service is amazing and um, i'm really really happy with the product so if you guys are in the market for uh, a system that is going to protect your home and also be incredibly reliable. I highly, highly recommend this. Um, I'm going to leave all the details in the description box below and um, yeah, check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below for us and we will do our best to answer.